Okay, we've got an interesting one today. I have been seeing ads for this razor on Facebook and online everywhere all the time, maybe because I sometimes search for razors and things. It's the Shave Logic multi blade cartridge razor. So, their big selling point is that it's got a metal handle, but it uses five blade cartridge razor heads. Now, you know, I'm not a huge fan of cartridge razors, I know they work very well. You can get a good shave. There's no doubt about it. I just prefer shaving with safety razors. So having said that and going into this with a little bit of bias because you know, I do like safety razors. I'm gonna try it to just give it an honest review and uh, let's go unbox this thing, take it out, see what it looks like, see what's inside and then, uh, then we'll shave with it and we'll talk about pricing and all that stuff. So here's the unboxing. All right, folks, so here is the Shave Logic box as it arrives in the mail. This is the shipping box. So let's open it up, see what's inside. Oh, it's another box. Ooh, that looks cool. Defy. Just defy everybody, yeah. Don't let them tell you you can't shave well anymore. Buy the shave. Oh, you can defy it with a stick and put that on your car. Yeah, you can defy everybody. Be tough. All right. <laughs> uh, what, what are you rebelling against? What do you got? All right. So let's see what's inside here. Oh, we're still defying everything. And shave logic, shave logic on the back. Is there anything? Yes, free from nicks, cuts, and landfills. 100% recyclable, recyclable packaging. All right. Well, let's just open this sucker up and see what's inside. I haven't, I haven't opened this up yet. All right. Your face is in good hands. Oh, my hands are in good face as well. So we got some little logos and stuff on the back. That's boring. Ooh. You need to blow your nose because you're crying because you just received the new Shave Logic razor. Dab those eyes. It's real. Yes, Virginia, there is a Santa Claus. I don't know what that means. Here we go. So this is what you get. Here's the metal handle. Let's take a look at that sucker. Yeah, all metal. It's got a magnet there. Look at the, oh, you know how I like razors with magnets, but this is a razor that holds these suckers in place. This doesn't pick up razor blades. Can it pick up this whole thing? No, it's probably made out of something that's non-magnetic. All right, so here's the handle up close and personal. It's got a decent weight to it. It's not too heavy, it's not too light. You know, it's just a solid chunk of metal. Looks nice, nice color. All right, and then you get cartridges in cool little metal carrying cases. You get two of these suckers, look at this. And it's just empty there. So inside each one of these is the little cartridges. So it's just, I guess you just slide it up like this. There we go, sorry. Yep, so you get four cartridges and they come in with these little tabs, a little plastic covering them. Ooh, oh, interesting, all right. So that's what it comes in. And these are like, oh, let's see, here's the top, just slides off. Let me slide that back on so you can see the bottom of it. See the sides, little thingy. So it's just like a little, uh, unnecessary traveling case, but hey, you know, what the heck. That's kind of cool looking. All right, let's go uh, load this thing up on camera and then shave with it and see how it does. All right. So here we go. We're... Get out of here. All right, here's the razor handle as I showed you, and here's the little magnet attachment right there. So the question I have is, I've never seen other, well, this is a statement, I've never seen other cartridges, you know, shaving cart, razor cartridges that have a magnet attachment. So are you stuck buying only the Shave Logic ones? I mean, I know they're proprietary shaving razors that have their own little heads with their own little systems to attach, so it's nothing new, but it would make me nervous, like how long this company is gonna be around if I love this razor and then I can't get these anymore. Let's not think about that. That's just an idea I had when I was coming up with this. All right, so let's, slide this little cover off. This is a cool package. It's totally unnecessary, <laughs> but I kind of like it anyway. Why does everything have to be necessary? It doesn't, it doesn't. Okay, so got the two cartridges in there. I'm gonna peel back this top one and it looks like it's positioned so you can just, without touching it, you can just grab this with a little magnet. The magnet is inside the cartridge there and just go, go baby, come on, come on, get in there. Is it upside down? No. Hold on, it's barely hanging in there, hold on. Get in there, how do you? Do I have to press a button? No. Oh, it was upside down. There we go, It was. I had it upside down, not the razor's fault, user error. 
Okay. <laughs> I looked at it and I thought, well, that looks right. But no, this, this strip goes on the top. So anyway, very easy to put on if you're not a dum-dum like I am. And uh, it's got five blades in it. So the, I, was, I read there, I went to their website. This is called the SL5 Shaving System, which means it's a razor with, you know, some razor blades. And it's got elastomeric suspension. That's what this little blue thing is. So it flexes when it's pressing against your face. Uh, it's an all-metal handle, as I said. And they give you what they claim to be, 100% best shave of your life or money-back guarantee. So if you don't like it, you can send it back and get a money-back guarantee. It's not the best in your life. So if you order this whole kit, like I did, this is like their welcome kit, $25 US right now. And if you order right now, this is uh, December of 2021, you get $10 off of that. So 15 bucks, you could try it out. It's a good handle. Just you have to buy these for right now, it seems, which is a little problem for me. Anyway, all right, I took a shower, did my hair. I'm gonna put some hot water on my face and you know, most people that will be shaving with this, I assume, never assume, will be using some sort of shaving cream from a can, right? And so I'm going to use half of my face with good old Barbasol because, you know, kind of a use case thing. This would be like your average consumer, average wet shaver is going to be using this kind of stuff. Not Nothing real fancy, you know, no fancy uh, $200 brushes and, you know, <laughs> almost a beaver knots, no badger knots. So... <laughs> Do they make beaver hair shaving brushes? I don't know. I don't want to know. All right, on the other side, we're gonna lather up with some good old shaving soap. This is space soap. Uh, it's currently on hiatus, so you can't get it right now, but you could use any shave soap you want. And I got my little signature brush here. So I'm gonna lather up on this side of my face with uh, shaving soap and see if there's much of a difference. You know, I don't think there will be. I enjoy using Barbasol, obviously. <laughs> I am Bobby Barbasol, the Barbasol boy. All right, so I'm gonna lap, oh, let me put some more water up there. That's good enough. Close enough for jazz. And then I'm gonna, it was a lot faster to uh, put shaving cream on with a brush, isn't it? Look at that. I'm gonna get right down, exactly 100% right down the middle of my face. No errors whatsoever. Just 100%, and then I'm gonna do that. Because <laughs> I'm a nut. All right. Let's see how this thing shaves. Like I said, oh, I gotta forgot to put this thing on. All right, there we go. <laughs> I'm not gonna tell you what that thing is I just put on, but maybe you'll notice in a minute. So I got, I wet this down. I wet my face. I got the shave the shaving soap over here, the Barbasol over here. Let's just see how how it goes. The weight is good. The balance feels fine. It's got ribs on it down here and here, so you can grip it well. It's not slippery. It's even got grips right there. That's kind of cool. So yeah, it's a good looking razor. It's a cartridge razor. Let's go, let's see how it works. Now, one of their marketing points, as I said just a minute ago, is that there's five razor blades in there, those five little silver blades in the space of three. So to me though, as a you know, double edge sing, you know, double edged safety razor user, the more blades doesn't necessarily mean better shave. Mine has one blade in my safety razors, you know. You know what I'm talking about when I say safety razor, in case you really don't know? It's this kind of an old razor, you know, the old-fashioned kind, not the uh, new-fashioned kind. Um, you don't need five blades. You can get a fantastic shave with one safety razor blade. But like I said, you can get very, very good shaves out of cartridge razors, too. It's not just a ploy to get your money. <laughs> it's kind of a ploy, but not really. And uh, I applaud people that don't want to use a safety razor for whatever reason. Same way reason I, you know, I don't want to use a straight razor. It's not for me, but there's some people that absolutely love it. And uh, that's, that's why it's great. There's so many choices. You don't have to do what everybody else is doing when it comes to your little routines and your lifestyle. You know what I mean? All right. So with cartridge razor, you can press pretty hard against your face. I mean, not too hard. Don't go crazy or anything, but you know what I mean. With a safety razor, you don't press hard at all. That's like the one thing you have to remember when you start with a safety razor. Now, I don't enjoy the feel of cartridge razors. There's like too much surface area touching my face. Oh, poor baby. Little Lord Fauntleroy doesn't want his face touched. <laughs> I'm, just kidding. I'm just letting you know that I'm aware that all of this is like first world problems. You know what I mean? 
But that's where I live, so that's what I deal with. So let's get under here. Now, I do notice that I don't get any nicks, usually, with cartridge razors. I don't remember ever nicking my face. I mean, I'm sure I did. I just don't remember. So that's one good thing. If you are squeamish, if you are scared of nicking yourself, if you're a beginning shaver, if you're a young man or a young woman who's, you know, shaving your armpits or legs or whatever you're shaving, if you're just starting out, I'd say a cartridge razor is the way to go. And then maybe look around, you know, try something out. Okay. Save the straight razor for much later down the line. They are very cool, but it's, uh, yeah, you gotta be skilled. Okay, so there we go. Let me just put some water up here and wash the residue off, and I'm gonna feel. Yeah, there's still a lot here, which normally would be more taken care of with one of my safety razors or one of my single edge safety razors. This one's kind of dirty. Don't mind the pond scum up there. I know that's a weird looking one. That's the leaf razor, the twig. So yeah, you guys still got plenty to go. Now you could leave, you could be done right now and you would feel perfectly clean shaven. Now I like to get real close. This is perfect for business. You could be done. That's a good shave. So let's give a, a review of the first pass because that's what a normal person probably is gonna do with a little touch ups maybe you might you know, get under your nose. And, but generally you're gonna be done. And it's good, it's fine. I, I prefer safety razors, but this is a good solid handle. It feels good. Uh, I like the fact that you reuse it, you know, for the life of this handle, I guess. Still, it worries me that uh, the proprietary uh, cartridges. So if you do fall in love with this razor, stock up so you can have it for a long time. All right, let's do a second pass. And I think this one I'll just lather up because I don't notice any difference in either the shaving or the uh, aftermath, I guess if you'd say, of having shaved that first pass. I don't think there's a big difference. Which I didn't think there would be. I just wanted to try it. All right. Let's do this. Ah, oh, smells so good. Smells so good. Smells like, like mint. And I love mint scented everything. Okay. Second pass across the green. This should take care of a lot of those whiskers that it left behind the first try. I've never had a razor of any kind. Completely shave me smooth on the first pass. I always have to do multiple or, you know, touch-ups as I go, you know. Listen to that. Whoa, a lot of feedback. You can hear it. Still a lot of whiskers to take care of. And that's why I do like this. That's why I do three passes. Those of you that watch my channel a long time know I do it all the time. But I still get comments from people that are like, why are you shaving three times? Oh, if you only knew, if you only knew, come over to my house, I'll shave your face, I'll do the three passes, then you'll see, then you'll see. Don't come to my house, unless you're my friend, okay? <laughs> All right. All right, okay, let's go sideways here, too. I don't really go sideways on my mustache, sometimes I'll do it on the edges, like this. Listen to that, you can really hear the whiskers. Listen to that. Wow, that's loud, man. That's way louder than my uh, safety razors. So I think I'll stop after this one and feel... This is a good handle. This design is great. See the way I'm gripping it like this? They knew that your thumb goes right there when you're doing this kind of upwards, like holding it like a spoon almost, you know? So very good uh, design there. Good job, engineers over at Shave Logic. Yeah, so $25 for the welcome kit. And then if you want to... You can buy, what is it, four more cartridges? Yeah, so four more of these cartridges, so two more of these little packages, is $18. So, you know, you do the math. It's a little over $4 per cartridge, which to me sounds outrageously expensive. Like I said, I am biased, you know, I am biased. I do prefer my safety razors, but man, those safety razor blades, you can buy a hundred of them for like $12. You know, if you want a really high end one, like the feather blades, you can get those a hundred of them for like 30 bucks. So a hundred razors, gonna, a razor blade is going to last you a long time. Four cartridge razor blades is not going to last you that long. And it's going to cost you 18 bucks to do it. And they may run out, but you know, they do claim that they have better contour and superb maneuverability. Um, 
I would say the maneuverability is fine because all the different gripping places on the actual handle itself. So they did think ahead and they did go through, obviously, tons of testing to see what it would be like to move this thing around your face. All right. So there's the second pass. Well, I still got lots of... Normally by the second pass, I don't have whiskers on my cheeks. Nor Because it's so kind of like the flattest surface on my face. Not the fattest. That's down here, baby. I got four double chins. Yeah, no, I've been working on it. Don't worry. All right, so let's do this last pass one more time. Because there still is a lot that I would like, like to get rid of. I'm going to use Barbasol again. And I don't have to use very much on that final pass. Spread a little water on your face. Pro tip. And just put a light dusting, <laughs> a light schmear. Just put a little schmear on your face. Not a ton. Gosh, my little notes keep falling. I apologize. <laughs> my notes. I actually wrote notes down so I could remember everything for you guys. I did a tiny bit of homework. No, no. So proud. I get a trophy. Put it right up there. Participation trophy, everyone. I'm against that, by the way. Okay. So, third one. Third pass. Let's see if we can get all that totally smooth. I'm going to go diagonally against the green, as I always do. Now, it's not completely clearing all the uh, all the shaving cream like, like I prefer with my single-edge razors and double-edge razors. But I think it's kind of par for the course for uh, these cartridge razors. Maybe I need... It's got the little, you know, green thing greenish teal, which is supposed to lift the whiskers. This is supposed to be a lube strip. And this little thing is supposed to allow it to bend more and take the shape of your face. Let me press a little bit harder than I'm used to. <laughs> it kind of makes me nervous doing this, especially on a third pass, but I'm gonna do it. This handle is good and long. I do, the, my favorite thing about this is the handle. Yeah. If they could come up with a handle like this with a safety razor head, boy, would I be in line. I'd like to try that out. That'd be interesting. Ooh, what if they make one that like is swappable, a swappable razor. So on the top, it could either be a safety razor head or a cartridge razor head. And you could just click it on and off. Hmm. Hmm. Somebody, I patent that right now. So I get a cut if you do that. Intellectual property rights claimed right now. <laughs> December, 2021. Man, you hear that? Wow. It's like I haven't even shaved yet. Wow. I will say this. Shave Logic uh, has beautiful graphic design. Uh, their aesthetics are gorgeous. And I was a graphic designer for many years, so I can appreciate these things, you know. My mind kind of thinks about these things. But in the end of the day, how does it shave? Is it 100% the best shave of my life? Guaranteed? Well, you know what I could do with a box and market guarantee, don't you? So let's just see. Let's reserve judgment until we do the third pass. And any little follow-up passes where I get the trouble spots like I like to do. You do not have to shave this much. You do not. This is just me. This is what I do. You do it the way you need to do it. What works best for you. That includes whatever products you might use. Okay. Ooh, God. <laughs> I knocked it off. I just was, white, you know, doing down here in the water and accidentally knocked the thing off. So let's, let's go fishing. Here's the little Emesis basin I keep the water in. I can't see it because it's cloudy. Let's see if I can get it. Come on, baby. Oh, this is not going to work. Come on. Come on, fishy, fishy, fishy. Oh, my God. I got it run wrong. Do not shave like this, kids. Uh, yeah, it attached to the blades and not the uh, the back. So let's put the back, back back on. There we go. There we go. Okay. Let me wash my face off and then we'll feel. Yeah, it got much smoother, that one. Still some right here I'd like to take care of. I'm not going to because that's enough already. Enough already. But not bad. Certainly not terrible. I just have apprehensions about the price of the cartridges, uh, whether they're going to continue to make them years into the future, and uh, all that stuff. So, my final verdict, um, flying by the seat of my pants is, 
Aesthetically beautiful. All this stuff, gorgeous. The website, nice. The, the handle, very well made. Feels very good. It's already getting soap scum on it, just the way I like it. Uh, these little carrying cases, you don't need them, but they're cool. The cartridge heads, they come off very easily like that, you know, which is fine. I mean, you're not going to be slinging them all over your bathroom, hopefully, and they do go, come off and on easily. But in the end, I mean, this is far from the best shave of my life, guaranteed. So I could return this and get my money back. But um, yeah, five blades in the space of three doesn't mean it's great. I think maybe two blades is the most I would go. Single bladed, you know, double edge safety razor, that's for me. But this is not bad if you just want to maybe a quick Christmas gift, you know, $25 plus if you buy it now, it's like $10 off. And no, I'm not being sponsored by them. I purchased this myself. I just went to their website and was reading stuff. So for 15 bucks, you get four of these, well, you know, two of these little boxes with two in them and then the handle and a nice little box you can give to your you know, uncle or your dad or whoever. But I would suggest getting them a Rockwell safety razor. It's going to last them forever and it's going to be a lot cheaper in the long run. Anyway, so that's it. The Shave Logic. So go try it out if you want to. It's my opinion. I dare you to. Mm-hmm. All right, everybody. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you soon.